Good afternoon, this is Rob with Next Truck Sales and I want to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2016 Volvo VNL 670. It features a Cummins ISX 450 with a 13 speed manual. You don't see that very often in a Volvo and you certainly don't see them with low mileage like this. A beautiful day here in Breslau. I'm out here in a almost a short sleeve shirt and looking at this beautiful truck here take a look I will go through this truck top to bottom show you the features on the truck some of the things that we've done and give you a good idea of what this truck is all about if you're interested in purchasing it it's low mileage uh, we are in Kitchener Ontario Canada our price if you happen to be watching this from the US includes delivery to Buffalo we have a yard there as well where you will take delivery and we'll supply you with all the paperwork you require to convert the title from Canada to US and we also supply you with a 10 day temporary license plate so that you can drive it home from Buffalo. So let's have a look here. Volvo VNL 670. It's a 61 inch sleeper, so 61 inches from about there to there. Okay, it's a little bit smaller than most, but these trucks turn amazing. Generally, most Volvo 670s are under 220 wheelbase. They have an extremely sharp wheel cut. I'll show you under the hood why. Uh, they're probably the best turning trucks on the market as far as wheelbase per wheelbase is concerned. Uh, let's have a look here. You can see that we've got some chrome upgrades on the fairings. A little bit of chrome peeling on that one. Nice uh, midnight blue type of a color. No major body damage. We get some leftover dirt and stuff from it was raining earlier here today. So we get a little bit of road grime when we brought it back from the truck wash. But overall, excellent condition no major body damage on this one have a look here we've got the projector lamps we've got fog lamps excuse me <coughs> excuse me uh fog lamps as well uh we've got the non new style mirrors so if you look at these mirrors i'm guessing this truck was ordered without them with nothing whatsoever and then the customer probably added these on themselves after the fact because if you look at the newer style of all those you'll have that plastic mirror, something like that. And that's not what's on this one. So nonetheless, it's a spot mirror. It'll do the job. It's just not the aerodynamic one that you'll normally see. Uh, also being a Cummins certified clean idol for California, you can see that we've done the DOT dated March uh, 2023, and it's good for one year from today. Okay, um, let's get a good look underneath the hood here. Actually, I'll pop it up. I think I locked it. So one of the reasons why the Volvo turns so well is because you have a sharp wheel cut. And that's because the arm here is on the inside of the steering box as opposed to the outside. If you look at all the other steering boxes, they're actually on the, in, on the outside. This arm here is on the inside and you've got a splayed frame. So it's actually wider at the front than it is at the back and that gives you the ability to push the steering box out farther and give it more push which means you get a sharper wheel cut which means ultimately that your truck is going to turn better have a look here we've got a bridgestone 11r225 drum brakes alcoa aluminum wheels cummins isx this is a 450 this is a straight 1650 torque engine I'll get this running and I'll show you the blow by. It's only 300 some odd thousand miles on it. So I don't expect to see much in that respect. Let's come and look over here. We've got a Firestone 11R225. That one's about 80% tread. These are good tires, FS691. We put them on a lot of our trucks. We've had good, good feedback and good success. Uh, the truck's gonna come with no leaks or no lights. Spring front suspension with grease fittings, which is always good. Looks like that pan may have been replaced at one point because I see it's black and I think they come red. Okay, often um, I've seen those pans where they often actually rot out, believe it, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, let's have a look here. So we've got your pass through here. We'll open that up, give you a quick peek inside. Now uh, we've got an air, basic air ride seat on this side of the truck. We need to kind of, it's a two handed job to pop that door open i do like the volvos for this reason you can stand underneath here and access the door without getting rained on so they have that quick little door that goes up all the other doors open out to the side have a look here we've got a 125 gallon fuel tank 
Looks like it's been rebanded at some point, might have rubbed through. I can see all three spots have been rebanded. Okay, have a look over here. We've got, looks like bandag recaps. And these are 80% treads. Drum brakes all around, outside aluminum, inside steel. Okay, we've got a non-locking rear diff frame and that's in good shape. We could sandblast and paint it, but it didn't feel that it was really bad enough to warrant actually doing it. It's surface rust only. Give you a good look from the perspective back here. Some mismatched mud flap hangers. Uh, fully matched bandag recaps all the way around, 80 to 90% tread. Have a look over here. Looks like we got a pair of rear shocks. Okay, we did just do the DOT, so I'm sure my shop called them during the inspection. Uh, we've got another 125 gallon fuel tank here that also appears to have been rebanded. So you see here, they've welded in that section, so it might have rubbed through. Not sure of the deal on that. Uh, have a look here. We've got the exhaust for the bunk heater. I saw it here. There we are. Okay, airlines, back of the cab, not too much damage. Some corrosion going on. Volvo cabs are steel, so when they do pick up stone chips, they start doing that, right? Uh, let's have a look here. We'll take a look on the inside. Okay, so we've got ISX 450, 13-speed manual, 1650 torque, a 13-2 front, 355 rears, and a 40-pound rear axle. We've got a multi-way adjustable air ride seat on the driver's side. Power windows, power mirrors, no power locks, heated mirrors, spot mirrors there, cruise. Let's get this started up and have a look. Okay, so we've got seat, probably 7 out of 10 condition. We're missing the armrest. A little bit of wear on that seat. I'm guessing we had a heavy driver, probably knocked it off. Let's have a look. So we'll start it up, see what it does. 329,000 miles. Let it go through, do its startup. Standard power divider, diff lock, couple of auxiliary switches, manual air conditioning, Bluetooth audio. Trailer brake is here. We've got uh, steering wheel audio, flash to pass, city horn, and Bluetooth audio here. Good oil pressure, 35 pounds. Let's have a look on the inside here. 13 speed manual. We'll get some lights on. This is a 16. The first year that they added LED lighting throughout the cab. Flat screen TV mount. We'll get some lights on in here. Uh, there we go. Okay, now we're all lit up. So we've got a full width tray for storage. There's no cupboards. Okay, you've got flat screen TV mount and you've got a receptacle there. Okay, we've got a storage here, no door. We've just got uh, a clothes rack and we've got some window curtains. Over here, we've got two curtains, look to be in good condition. Uh, we've got a cover over the sunroof. You've got a little tiny writing tray here. Let's see if I can get that pulled out. We've got some leftover stuff that needs to obviously be removed. Sorry about that. We've got the fridge. And we've got another writing table here. Okay, so we've got an inverter. The bunk heater control is inside of that. All LED lighting looks to be working. We've got a microwave that's plugged in. Upper mattress, non-existent. Volvos don't really, if you put a mattress in there, it's very hard to get that mattress to fold up. But we do have a brand new mattress in a bag in the bottom. Okay, we've got your factory HVAC and your inverter and a Webasto air top bunk heater in there. So the important part, let's go out and have a listen to the engine room. A couple of switch blanks are missing here. And we'll get all the lights off, Bluetooth audio. Sorry, non-Bluetooth uh, CB radio, my apologies. Let's go out and have a listen. So we'll put the idle up. I'm gonna 
take the oil filler cap off. We'll have a look at the blow-by coming out. I'll take you through the engine, just let you have a listen. It'll be hard to hear me, so I will just do that and not do a lot of talking. visible blow by the Shut this down. So as you can see, the truck's got low K, Cummins, 13 speed, ready to go to work. Our price includes delivery to Buffalo or from Kitchener. Includes a fresh DOT, no leaks, no check engine lights, no codes, cold air, warm heater, and paperwork to convert the title from Canada to USA if that's where you're purchasing the truck from. So if you're interested, feel free to give me a call. My number is area code 844-489-8789. It's Rob at Next Truck Sales. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.